Volkswagen has just done two big things. Broken ground at its new $20 billion battery manufacturing plant and revealed the battery that will power 70% of its electric cars. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. Viking. Great to see you. Now, this is going to be a quick video because, well, it's uh, 4 a.m. in the morning. I need to get some sleep. It's my son's birthday today. He's going to a like a ninja center, ninja warrior type place. He's so excited. He's going to turn, he's, well, he just turned six this morning. So there you go. Volkswagen, what are they up to? Well, they've just broken ground on a 20 billion US dollar battery investment. Now, for you Aussies right now, that's about 30 billion Australian dollars. And they announced they would invest that money alongside their partners in this new battery cell business, which will create 20,000 direct jobs, probably another 80,000 indirect jobs as well, <clears throat> and reach annual revenues exceeding 20 billion euros or 30 million or 30 billion Australian dollars by 2030. Now, at the groundbreaking ceremony for the first European battery cell facility for Volkswagen, the automaker announced that the Power Co unit would oversee all of Volkswagen's global battery manufacturing, research, and projects. These include energy storage, systems, mining raw materials, and recycling. So they want to cover off all bases here. This is not, this is not just a battery plant. They want to have a recycling plant, right? They want to have also mines they want to mine raw materials they want to refine the raw materials they want to have like a closed loop system this is really 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 thorough way of doing things now volkswagen is persistently pursuing its e-mobility plan says Tesorati. and in the presence of german chancellor olaf schultz the group held a groundbreaking event for its first cell facility in Salzgitter. in 2025 production is expected to begin so it's going to take them about two and a half years to actually start producing batteries at the factory, which my friends is the key reason why, right? Why Herbert D said Tesla would not be caught by Volkswagen until 2026, best case scenario. That's what he said. So the media saying that Volkswagen will overtake Tesla in 2024 is in direct opposition to what Herbert D has said. Now, one of the key reasons is this exactly here, right? They need the batteries from this enormous factory. Be producing batteries, and that won't happen until 2025. They'll be ramping at the start of 2025. They're not going to reach like a full ramp until 2026, when their new electric car factory will be finished production and start rolling out vehicles in 2026. So these two things are happening in conjunction. Volkswagen's new battery factory starts to ramp up, starts building batteries in 2025, ramps up production during 2025. Volkswagen's new electric car factory, massive, kind of like a gigafactory for Volkswagen, will break ground, will open, start producing cars in 2026. So these two things align quite nicely. Today is a good day for the automotive industry in Germany. Chancellor Olaf Scholz said in his speech at the ceremony. Now, the reason he said this is because Germany is very, very concerned. The unions, the government, automotive companies, everyone, the citizens of Germany are very concerned they're going to lose manufacturing to China, electric vehicle manufacturing to China. They already have. It's a, just the reality. They already have lost some already. Volkswagen is losing market share in China. It is their biggest market. They make 50% of their profits from China, 40% of all their sales for vehicles, period, are in China. So they're very concerned about this. They've said this on numerous occasions. They've said they might lose 80,000 jobs. They've said they might lose, you know, billions of dollars from their economy unless they're able to somehow rapidly change from an internal combustion engine vehicle producing country. And, and Germany, people don't realize, but Germany is extremely dependent upon the automotive industry. The only other country more dependent on the automotive industry than Germany is Japan. Now, Germany and Japan are both in pretty significant risk of losing a lot of this economic production, a lot of these jobs, a lot of these, you know, billions of dollars to China. So that's why Chancellor Olaf Scholz said, today's a good day for the automotive industry in Germany. You know, they've got some good news to share with people to try and make people say, you know, it's not going to be as bad as we thought. 
Now, Volkswagen unveiled a proposal to create facilities with a combined capacity of 240 gigawatt hours by 2030. That's a lot of batteries. That will make millions of cars. After repeatedly stating that producing enough batteries to power all automobiles is the most significant difficulty in the transition to electric vehicles. I'm sure you already knew that. Getting enough battery supply is the biggest challenge for every automaker and will be over the next five years. Herbert Dies, Volkswagen CEO, said, Today we're not only laying a foundation stone, but also making a strategic milestone. The battery cell business is one of the cornerstones of our new auto strategy, which will make Volkswagen a leading provider of the sustainable, software-driven mobility of tomorrow. Establishing our own cell factory is a mega project in technical and economic terms. It shows that we are bringing the leading edge technology of the future to Germany. I've got to say, Herbert Dies, I have huge respect for him. He's put his career on the line, his head on the line for Volkswagen. He's been pushing Volkswagen relentlessly to making more electric cars, almost at the cost of his job, which he nearly lost within the last six months on numerous occasions because he's so aggressively pushing Volkswagen to manufacture more EVs. I reported on all those things that happened over the course of the last six months. If you want to check those videos out, I'll put some links in the description below. Six of these plants that Volkswagen are producing are located in Europe, with Salzgitter serving as the blueprint for all future standardized production sites for Volkswagen. The other two are located in North America. So good news for Americans who want Volkswagen electric cars. Power company chief executive Frank Blom said, what we have proven a million times over with Volkswagen vehicle platforms, standardizing and scaling up allows for speed and cost optimization with the highest quality. I totally agree with this. I completely disagree with all these manufacturers coming out, which they have over the past 12 months, saying they're going to make 50 different electric vehicle models. You know, Volkswagen saying they're going to make 80, I think it's 75 or 80 different electric models over the next five years. To me, that is very, very complex. Having the one model, the one base, you know, the MEB platform, they'll have a new platform within the next couple of years, which will supersede the MEB platform. That is brilliant. That's a great idea. Volkswagen have lots of different brands. They'll all be using the same platform. But having that huge a number of models, as we've seen over the pandemic, over the last two years, over the last three years even, causes a lot of complexity in the supply chain. And therefore, it can massively disrupt production. That is an area where I think General Motors, Volkswagen, Ford, these companies could do better by simplifying, reducing the number of models, and therefore reducing complexity. That could help them to make more EVs. Volkswagen also unveiled its standardized battery cell at the ceremony, which it previously said would be used in up to 80% of the group's electric cars. And I'll report on that soon, give you details on that battery cell, with a new video that you can check out as well. Here's my take. It's great to see Volkswagen ramping up production of electric vehicles and particularly battery production. We need battery production not only in China, it needs to happen elsewhere. We can't have a monopoly on the battery industry. The Chinese do have pretty much, pretty close to a monopoly on the battery industry right now. You know, 70 plus percent of all batteries in the world right now are manufactured in China. So it's really good to see play companies like Tesla making batteries in the US, you know, obviously Panasonic does as well. There's a number of other companies like Lion Energy, they make batteries too in the US. Then Volkswagen and other companies like s -Volt doing the same thing in Europe. And honestly, the other great thing is this will help Volkswagen reduce the cost of their EVs, meaning ultimately they'll be able to compete, hopefully with this Chinese onslaught that's coming to Europe and to the world very soon. Now let me know in the comments section below. What do you think? Does Volkswagen have a chance of competing? Will this put them in a position to be in a good place by 2030? What are your thoughts on that? Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.